Welcome on back to the channel everybody. We are back from the swamps. I'm disappointed we didn't get to go to Mississippi and do our crappie fishing. And we're going to be doing an unboxing today of my box from Africa. And today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Okay y'all, I've had Simply Safe in my home being monitored for almost a year now, way before they came to me to do this ad, so it's something I know and trust. But Simply Safe is not just a home security system, it is a professionally monitored 24/7 full-blown system. If anything happens, they make sure the police get called right away, and I mean right away. Steph has triggered the alarm on accident before, and we get calls within seconds. All the monitors and sensors are really discreet, and they even went to the links. This is why I love Simply Safe. Their camera disconnects electronically when it's not in use, so you know you're not being spied on. And you can customize your Simply Safe system to fit your home or your apartment, whatever size it is. They have you sensors to cover every window, room, plus a lot of other extra monitoring devices. For the treehouse, I put in a fire detector. I also put a temperature sensor in the garage in case it freezes. We don't want the pipes to break. And then I even put one of their water sensors by the washer and dryer. So that way, if we get any leaks or anything going on, those are literally things that can save your home if you're away. They'll call police, call the fire department, and get those people out there to save your home. There are no contracts with Simply Safe. Their customer service is out of this world. It is a system you have to have if you don't have it already. Visit simplysafe.com slash lakefortguy at simplysafe.com slash lakefortguy. I'll also leave a link in the description, so just take your finger, click on it, and guard your home with Simply Safe. Alarm off. All right, y'all, first thing we gotta do today is feed these chickens. I had to do something just absolutely disgusting today, and I had to give a bath to one of our chickens that has a stank butt, a vent gleet. We've had issues with these chickens so far, but anyway, I'm gonna feed them some scraps right here. Some bread, some pears, some grapes, some blueberries. Basically what Emmy didn't eat for her lunch. And I gotta get their eggs. They've been dropping eggs like crazy, y'all. What you girls got for us today? A little three-piece McNugget. All right, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For some reason, they, they just go in there where that golf ball is. and They like to lay with it. I actually already walked down to the lake this morning and it is so high, it's flooded really bad. And I actually ran into a copperhead, I had to dispatch it. But I wanted to see if there was any gar or anything moving up in the shallows, the bass were, yeah, they're getting ready to spawn and some were spawning. Now it's probably just blown out. So we're gonna have to find other options. I thought it'd be perfect today to go get our crate. I literally got an email this morning saying, Justin, do you remember all, it didn't actually say this part, but it was like, do you remember all those African animals that you hunted many, many moons ago? Well, they're all here inside of this crate. So come get them. Pollen, look at it. Every time I've been outside, I've just been sniffling. It's like, oh no, am I getting Corona? Oh, so I'm gonna take these eggs inside. The unfortunate part is we can't eat these eggs because they have antibiotics in them, but Steph is actually making little mini quiches for the chickens with their own eggs to feed back to them. And there they is, bacon. Honey, I've got three more eggs for you. They're, oh man, I just used, I used up 11 eggs. 11 eggs. Yeah. There's another couple. Ow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. I know. These wow. are like your eggs in your Easter basket we've been oh. practicing early. Oh. It's crazy, y'all, like how many eggs these things lay. This entire bowl was full. We're getting like three or sometimes four eggs a day out of three chickens. I know, Emmy. Good job. So, babe, serious question. I'm, I'm about to go get a big crate full of animals. Where are we putting these things? Wait. Ah. I guess we'll hang them up. This is gonna be interesting. Let's go see this crate and see how big it is. It's just everywhere. Just everywhere. Gotta leave the mid-sized Dirty Max here because I think this crate is gonna be beyond the parameters of my truck cap and bed. And we're taking LFD's Old Red. This thing basically is just used to haul wood and stuff, you know, dirty stuff. And uh, their bulldog loves to take rides in it. That's the other reason they keep it around. All right, Old Red, let's fire it up. Come on now. Yeah. And they'll be 
offered to him. Oh, AM radio. My dad's got got it loaded loaded out. How do I turn these wipers off? I, I just want to see how many miles are on this thing. 191,479. This truck has seen some lines on the road. Since they loaded it in there with a forklift, I surely hope that we can get it out. Fragile, but it ain't no leg lamp like the Christmas story. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I now have to call upon the power of OSG to help me get this thing down. It, it probably weighs more than she does. I'm gonna go ahead and say 100% it does so I don't get in trouble. I could convert this into some sort of poultry keeping system. I can make a duck house out of it. I just thought, it, woo, they sent me a little house. By the way, y'all, the bill for, oh my gosh, don't even think about going and hunting in Africa unless you're willing to throw down. My buddy, Rob, he was like, hey, you wanna come? I, I'll pay for your flight because he didn't have a cameraman at the time. I was gonna film his hunts. Once you get over there and you start, uh, seeing all these animals and you're like man i want to hunt one of these yeah i want to hunt one of these and then all of a sudden it adds up and then the taxidermy bill and then the shipping to get here was more than the animals themselves anyway i'm not sure when i'm going to go back there i kind of like the new zealand route it was way 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 cheaper to do that okay I'm gonna do this quick because we got a baby she's got new teeth coming in she's not going to be excited when i put her down Amy. we got to move that down here. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you have to get like over there and pull. I'm oh, not that long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just, just staying up. So way. far, you have a good look. <laughs> I like your pants. Oh, thank you. Are those new? Duluth Trading Flex Editions. Those are nice pants. Okay, ready? All right, go to the ground. One. Two, and all the way down. Oh. Got it, Emmy. It's been in Israel, Africa, oh. LA. It's been all over the globe. Jimmy. Okay, so I've never actually unboxed a crate like this. I've gotten big cardboard boxes and all that kind of stuff, but never an actual wooden crate. And it looks like there's zip ties in here. So they're strapping them down to the plywood that's in here and then there's like two by fours on the bottom as a base so the big questions are what is in here i'm pretty sure i remember all of them and then are they damaged this thing has traveled thousands of miles and i don't know how many people's hands it's been through but the box looks in pretty good shape so it looks like these are phillips heads and we're just gonna take our little driver here and knock them out i'm gonna say it might be best to go from the top and then lift these out, but we'll see. One more. Whoa, this is nuts. Wow, okay, you guys gotta see this. So this is what the inside of a trophy crate looks like. So the only animal that has its horns attached is this one. Um, all these animals have, have horns except for one that, that has antlers. But these actually come off and because the Impala is so small, they were able to keep them on here. The other ones, they're actually attached. So I'm gonna have to pull these out one by one and then like reattach these and then we'll go through them. It's like playing Jungle Jenga right here. There's an Impala. There you go. Oh, hi. 
this is so strange taking this thing apart and then just seeing them it's like reliving it one by one the ears look a little interesting <laughs> the ears do look a little interesting is that uh is that normal yeah that's normal did they do a good job i don't know <laughs> They, they look a little patchy. They look a little patchy. The ear looks a little questionable. That's because, like, that's normally just raw skin right there. Oh. Uh, it's not fur. Okay. Well, especially if it's, like, you know, at a distance, it's going to look good. <laughs> it's always good when you get the wife approval. You know, all right, I'm safe to put it in that room. I'm good. I got free reign. She's got a little critique on one of the animals, which I don't disagree with, but I digress. I think the red lesh way turned out the best, y'all. It just, it's so majestic in the wild, but whoo, it's looking thick and juicy. They did a really good job. Look how wet his nose looks. Yummy. Is these horns will actually just sheath off like this. So this is the Nyala's horns right here. Leshway horns. Wabam. Those are big, man. So I got to find a spot upstairs for all of these to go. The Impala is not going to be an issue. Uh, the Leshway and the Nyala, they're pretty big. I think they're gonna have to go up high. Yes! Sadly, we took down Uncle Herschel, put two more mounts up, and now we're about to put up the last one, which is the Impala. Poop. Okay, my fast little friend. It's time for you to make your, your last stop, your final grazing position. Oh, sit right on in there. There you go, buddy. I think that's it. Hey, I mean it. Uh, I don't know how it goes. You know how it goes, though. Looks beautiful. Let me just sit down in my little chair here, my thinking chair. This is where we look out over the, the landscapes and the trees. We think about deep thoughts. So in that big left corner there, we've got the red leshway. I think that is the best looking mount. I think they did the best job on that and it's just a majestic looking animal. And then we have the ceiling fan. I hate how that gets in the way. We definitely need to do like some track lighting in here. Spruce it up a little bit, but uh, this is the tallest part of the house. This is really the only place that I could put these two specific animals. So over here is our Nyala, and uh, this is a shoulder pedestal mount, so it is, is actually meant to uh, see the shoulder a little bit more, and that's because they have like a little striping on their side. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's kind of hard to see on a regular shoulder mount, so I got a, a wall pedestal. And then we got your Impala just right over here in the corner. And then I've got these handmade, uh, hand woven baskets right next to it. Stephanie put up there. Those are from Africa. Uh, one of our guides, one of our PHs, his mom made those. And then right there is the Reed Buck. And he's sitting on top of uh, the memorabilia, one of the memorabilia shelves here, which Stephanie has done an amazing job putting this room together and this is a lot of like my memories I've I don't know if I really show this very often up here but um, just some just some stuff collections of global travels and accomplishments and things like that so even got uh, something that one of you guys made right here so really cool and me and Stephanie this is like our quiet room we go up here and we and we chill and we do a little work sometimes but it's mainly to think and chill. Although Uncle Herschel is down, white tail wall right here, y'all. Hit the like button for it, we're gonna do it. Those are a little bit smaller animal, and uh, I think they'll be better suited right here. And I've got some ducks. Uh, actually, a wood duck that I got right out here behind uh, the lake back behind me, so um, those are not from the lake. But a wood duck, I'm waiting to get mounted. He's gonna go up here as well, and uh, man, and I've got another white tail coming, so. This room's gonna get just even more awesome. Speaking of whitetail, we're grilling some right now. By the way, y'all, I've cooked on this big green egg for years now. I love it, but I really want to get something else, like a pellet grill, just a normal, regular grill. Cause this thing takes forever to fire up. I love the way it cooks, though. 
Throw on your meats. And get it on the heat. Smell the delicious coming into your nasal passages. Yeah. Alright, give it a little flip. Perfecto. Ooh, sweet, sweet. Mm. Man, smell that meat just makes you want to sing songs. Who's ready for some deer meat for dinner? Deer meat for dinner. Up in there, we've got the animals. OSG approved. OSG approved. One of them needs to come down a little bit. We'll make some adjustments. But it looks good. We're about to get some deer. My deer. And then we got the chickens over there. The perfect place to chill out during the corona craziness. If they quarantine us, which I guess they've talked about, we're good. We've been, I feel like I've already been You already quarantined. have been quarantined. <laughs> it's you're no good. different for me. <laughs> you're quarantined with that one. I want to see if the chickens are going to like these things that Stephanie made for them. Basically the little mini quiches with vegetables and stuff in them. And they are made with their own eggs. So let's go see if the chickens like them. And it's got some green in it, so anything green they just usually go crazy for. Come here. Put this in your little tray. First impressions. Go in for seconds. I like to uh, put that up in a little swing. I need to. I need to put a cap on it so it's a little bit more challenging, but. Just gives them something to do. If chickens get bored, they they get kind of uh, mischievous, believe it or not. Looks like they are loving those little quiches, and that's good. That's extra protein for them. They're coming off of a respiratory issue, a sickness, so a little extra protein will help them heal faster. Birds are singing in the window. That means it's almost time to go now. Oh yeah, but we're gonna get a bite of that steak. Smash that like button for it. Come on now. Come on. I've let them sit for about five minutes. And I'll put a little butter on top. Just a little, just a little extra up to it. We're just gonna cut that open. Oh yes. Just a little bit of pink in the center. It's still juicy. Ah, taste test time while we're sitting in the outdoors. Mm-hmm. Zero gaminess. Zero gaminess. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's that little bit of blood right there. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it ride. Don't take health advice from me, but take deliciousness advice from me. That's the way you do it right there. And that is where we're going to end it today, y'all, on a delicious note. Go ahead and smash that like button for global adventure travel. And God bless the great outdoors giving us the resources that we have. God bless y'all. And I'll see you soon on an outdoor adventure. See you guys.